There's so much I want to say to you. Wanna spend the day with you. Caught up in the thought of story moments between me and the my figures always linger as I my name is Shauna Tucker. I'm here in Detroit, and this is Theromatic. Two trains running in the same direction. One's moving faster. Um, I was at Howard University, and um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I actually was an entertainment law major, or pre-law. I knew that I didn't want to play classical cello, but I was like, ah, I don't know what else I can do with this because I don't sing like that, you know, and I don't play like that, and I don't want to play like that. Um, and I started performing uh, with a trio of uh, that started from a, a piano trio class. So it was um, violin, cello, piano, and we all sang. And we would like in between like the the Mendelssohn and the Brahms, we would um, be like messing with Michael Jackson or Stevie Wonder um, or Bill Withers or just a jazz standard and started doing that out and in DC people seem to like a little something new, a little something different. I was like, yo, I can do this for a live. We're getting paid to do this. And it's special, it's not something you can see every day. Um, but really it's just a matter of like taking that that idea of performance as a viable, um, sustainable um, career and continuing to hone my own voice and not being worried about what, what I don't sound like or who I don't sound like um, and just try to find more of my voice because that it works it's been working for me um, I've done other things I've, I've done a lot of other things but it's all in support of the music get out the fast lane lady at the fast lane you know you over the talking on your cell phone I can't afford to go slow it, it was less of a domino effect than it was a uh, ad necessity almost like <laughs> Like, let's see, do I sell my body or, I mean, I can't really dance like that. So, or do I go back to music? Cause I had, I had stopped playing for years. Like I, I um, got married and had a little boy and I was like, I can't make this fit in my life right now. This is, it, it wasn't either or for me. And then we separated, we got divorced. I was a single parent and I was like, I need to make some money. What's my hustle? Um, What's my hustle that I will not either regret or be miserable doing? Um, and so that sort of need just kind of made it um, almost do or die. You know, I, I don't like saying I don't have a choice, but in that moment, I kind of felt like you know, I don't really have a choice. Like, figure out how to make this work. Um, and really, just by telling my truth, um, sharing stories about my life through my music, people are like, oh, what is she doing over there? Oh, that's a cello, oh, that's nice, oh, yeah. You know, so that huh, started to, uh, that started to kind of snowball. And, um, you know, word was on the street, this is new cello, new thing of mine, you know. So it, it, it works, it works for me. It's I remember meeting Fonte for the first time at a um, at this wine bar called Six Place. Um, I was playing in the corner somewhere, you know, and uh, and at the time, I think I had just heard about Foreign Exchange. Um, but then, fast forward maybe two or three years, because um, you know we keep in touch. It's a, it's a small close community in the Raleigh-Durham area, especially amongst 
um, black musicians and more specifically like the sort of soul, R&B, jazz, you know, we all, we all know who each other are. Um, but yeah, I got a call. Um, his calls always start with yo, yo. Um, I need you to sing, would you be interested or can you come through? And uh, that was the song Better, um, which uh, then we did a video for that. And then I got another call. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a couple, it's been, I've known him for years, but it's, it's but this sort of legacy of featured vocalists is, I like this trend. It's like, you know, happy to have a space on, on all of their recent offerings. Why, why, why don't you ever listen to a word I say? So, we have um, Shine is my um, first offering. Actually, independently released that back in 2011, and then it got picked up by a jazz label out of Boston, the Jazz Urbane, uh, and was re-released in 2015. Um, second offering is coming out in 2017. Um, part of my Chamber Soul vibe is um, the arrangements that I do of uh, pre-existing songs, either jazz standards or covers, but just kind of rework them in a way that um, I don't, I don't start out like my focus is not, my goal is not to make people do this, but inevitably it happens that people will be like, I know that song. I, and then they're singing the lyrics and they're like, but it doesn't go like that. But then it, you know, then they get to the hook and they're like, that's pretty dope. So, but then we, you know, they turn around and say, Hey, is what record is that on? Or can I buy that? And I'm like, ah, I only do that in live performance. So. I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet, put some of these arrangements on uh, on one condensed album, um, along with more originals. Um, so that's due spring 2017. Shine, shine. As an independent artist, um, I view what I do, I mean, this is a business, you know, I'm a small business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, I, I um, earn a living, I help other people earn a living. Um, that as a goal, you know, to continue running the business, to continue growing the business, um, is the primary goal. How does, how does that work? I must have product, which is coming out in 2017. You know, and it's like you you create the product to further the show. For me, live performance is my that's that's my forte, right? Some people go into the studio, they spend a bazillion years for the recorded project. My thing is the live show, and so having product to be able to promote the live show um, and tour, be on the road, you know, two hundred and something days of the year. That probably crazy to some people but that really that appeals to me because then it says I'm doing my job and I'm furthering the music um, as a business owner I'm employing people you know and and live music it continues the concept of live music the concept of of tangible instruments um, the concept of this the back and forth that happens with the audience that makes the show that energizes the show all of that is important um, so yeah that's that's the goal I'll get on that cell phone, I can't afford to go slow In the fast lane, in the fast lane, you know you're over the talking on that cell phone